When Power Toys is first launched, you'll see the Power Toys icon in the system tray. Fancy zones will be enabled with a default zone window layout and in shift to snap mode. The first thing you'll want to do is to set up a zone layout that optimizes your productivity. To launch the zone editor, press the Windows key plus tilde. The zone editor has a set of built-in layouts based on the specified number of zones. The spinner button adjusts the zone count. When a layout is selected, a preview of it will be drawn on the desktop. The Show Space Around Zones checkbox enables a margin around the zones. The size of the margin can be customized. Clicking the Apply button commits the selected layout to the desktop and the committed zone layout will briefly flash. This flash can be disabled in Settings. More on Settings later. Once a zone layout is chosen, windows can be dragged into a zone by holding the shift key down while dragging. If one of the default zone layouts does not meet your workflow needs, you can create a custom layout. To create a custom layout, press the windows key plus tilde shortcut again. When one of the built-in layouts is selected, pressing the edit selected layout button will launch the custom editor. The custom zone editor has two modes, table layout mode and window layout mode. Table layout mode allows zones to be split, merged and resized like cells in a table. Table layout mode will make sure windows do not overlap. Whenever a layout without overlapping zones is selected, the custom zone editor will launch into table layout mode. Window layout mode allows zones to be positioned and rearranged like windows. Window layout mode allows for overlapping zones as well as areas of the layout without zones. Whenever a layout with overlapping zones is selected, the custom zone editor will launch into window layout mode. In the table layout editor, clicking a zone will split that zone vertically with a horizontal splitter. Holding down the shift key will split the zone horizontally with a vertical splitter. Dragging any of the gutter handles will resize all attached zones. Table layout mode also supports merging zones. Drag to select the zones to be merged and click the merge button that appears after the drag. Once a custom layout is finished and given a name, clicking the save and apply button applies the zone layout to the desktop and saves the custom layout in the custom tab. In the window layout editor, the zones are represented by windows which can be added, deleted, resized, and dragged. Clicking any part of a window brings it to the foreground so it can be resized and repositioned. Clicking the X button will remove that window from the layout. Clicking the Add New Zone button adds a new zone window to the layout. As with table layout mode, once a custom layout is finished and given a name, clicking the Save and Apply button applies the zone layout to the desktop and saves the custom layout in the custom tab. Now let's talk about the settings for fancy zones. To access settings, click the Power Toys icon in the system tray. In the Power Toys settings dialog, clicking the Fancy Zones tab will show the settings. The first setting controls how the shift key behaves while dragging a window. When this setting is on, which is the default, dragging a window will not snap into a zone until the shift key is held down. When this setting is off, dragging a window will auto snap into a zone unless the shift key is pressed while dragging. The second setting controls the behavior of the Windows key plus arrow shortcut. When turned on, the Windows key plus arrow shortcut moves windows between zones in a layout. When turned off, the normal Windows window snap behavior is present. The third setting will keep windows in their zones if a screen resolution change occurs. This is handy if you're projecting, docking, or using terminal services to connect to your machine as your window layouts will be preserved. The third setting will keep windows in their zones if a screen resolution change occurs. This is handy if you're projecting, docking, or using terminal services to connect to your machine as your window layouts will be preserved. 
The fourth setting controls if windows will stay in their zones if the layout of the zones on the desktop changes. Each zone in a layout has a number, and when this setting is on, windows will stay in the zone number they were in previously, even though the position and size of the zone may change. The fifth setting controls whether the zone layout flashes when it is changed. The sixth setting controls the behavior of apps that are pinned to all virtual desktops. When turned on, pinned apps will always stay in the same zone. The seventh setting controls if new app windows are created in the zone that the app was last in. For instance, if PowerPoint was previously in Zone 3 when it was closed, the next time PowerPoint is launched, it will open in Zone 3. Finally, the Zone Highlight Color setting controls the color of the zone when a window is dragged over it. We hope that Fancy Zones helps to improve the productivity of your workflows on Windows. If you have suggestions or bugs, please create an issue in the PowerToys GitHub repo.